Hi Divas. I'm continuing my work on number five here. I like how these click right together. See? See how well they fit right into each other? Not all diamonds do that and I really like Pretty Neat Creative because of this. I have not had trouble with their diamonds. They have had very, very little trash in them. I know, I missed this spot. I'm going back for it. There's four. Oh my gosh, it took me hours this past weekend to put the drill kits together for my spare drills. Hers, they're not really pretty boxes, but they're white, and I'm going to decorate them somehow. Maybe with um, con pretty contact paper or something to match with my craft room. I have way too much in my craft room at this point. I need to be de-stashing. Major big time row. In the form of giveaways. I want to give stuff away. I've got some scrapbook kits up on my Etsy shop. And I put on some, put in some journaling kits as well that have lots of stickers and things with them. And I'm going to put a diamond painting kit together with some diamond painting tools. I'd rather have you guys win it than me sell it. Um, so, but I think I have enough to put several kits together. <clears throat> And I'm still waiting until we reach 100 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe and save. So that I can start the contests. Now, I may not wait for 250 members the next time to run the next contest. Oh, dear. Because I won't have so much to give away, guys. So much to de-stash, so much to give away. And I want to share it. I don't want to give it to the local resale shop. Oh, wait, that's number three, four. That's just the phone seeing if I want a substitute teaching job for tomorrow. I cannot because I'm going with my husband up to up to the company, the uh, family plot to see where we're going to be interring my brother-in-law in a few weeks. It's so cool. If I hadn't told you before, my brother-in-law was a very unique personality, and uh, I might do the percent sign. I'll get a few of those in here. Like two or three. One, two. Is there more percents than that? Can you see any? Point them out. Two. Two. So I'll do those. Um, that's number three. Ah, gray. So, um, yeah, he had a very unique personality. So he was uh, cremated. I hope you don't mind talking about that kind of thing. And, uh, <laughs> we got a regular urn that he came in with, a very simple, basic one. He wouldn't have wanted anything super fancy, for sure. But what my brother, my husband did for him, for his brother, is dipped it in, like, tie-dye colors. He made it a tie-dye urn. Fits his the kid's personality. Fits my brother-in-law's personality so completely. It's unbelievable. It's always a free spirit. He always made other people happy. So very much him. Okay, what letter should I do next? What symbol should I do next? Let's see. Should I do K? Or should I do Omicron? Or should I do the feather? Well, I'm going to do the 
feather, I think. Maybe I'll do the feather. That just seems to be... Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Yet again. Okay. The feather is drill 29. Color 29. Mustard color. Love that mustard color. Yeah. No, it's more it's more taupe. Though we do have a mustard color in here. What else? I haven't done much <clears throat> in the way of destashing. The projects that I have that I want to do are all so time consuming. And I enjoy doing them. I stayed up all night, two nights this week, this past week. My goal is to do no more than two. It's not that I can't fall asleep. It's that I just get too into what I'm doing and I want to finish. And I have to get to a point where I recognize where... I'm doing myself more harm than good. By staying up. Instead of getting some sleep. And that would be a duh no-brainer. For some. But you know, for creative types. But. I just get so involved in what I'm doing. When I start something, I don't want to stop until I'm dead tired. Just like when I, I binge on a certain TV show, like on uh, <clears throat> Netflix or Amazon or Discovery or, or one of the... It's an Omicron. One of the channels, I <clears throat> on demand... I don't like to stop watching it. I watch them over and over and over. Like, not over and over again, like repetitively, but uh, I watch show after show after show after show the same one. I binge watch them. And I know it drives people crazy. They get really tired of the premise of the show on repeat or whatever. But you know what? I have to do me. So I do binge occasionally. Do you binge watch any shows? Which shows do you like? I like Gold Rush and Discovery and Deadliest Catch. I like the personalities. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I study people's personalities and what makes them tick and what what people like and oh, I think they're funny sometimes too because of that <laughs> they can be really funny so So there's that. I'm just talking out my hat right now, aren't I? Hope I'm not boring you. Talk back. Tell me what you would like to talk about sometimes. Talk back by writing in the comments. Liking, subscribing, putting a comment in so I know what you like and what you don't like. And if I'm able to accommodate it, I will. If I'm not, I won't. Haha. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but I'd like to if I can. I'd like to start giving away my stuff. Man, I'm like, I can't wait till we get to 100 subscribers so that I can do that. That's what I promised. I'd wait. I don't want to have 
five people and them all be relatives that sign up just for a contest that they don't even want to receive what I'm putting out. They just want to support me. Which I love that. But I want to share what I have with everyone. And I know I have some really nice stuff that maybe you couldn't afford to get on your own. Maybe you would like to upgrade some things. I have a uh, hand-turned uh, drill pen. I have a sorter, like a bead sorter that holds a few different trays at the same time that you can put on a Lazy Susan. Um, I have a few uh, complete kits, diamond painting kits to give away. Oh my gosh, I just have so much stuff, guys. Divas. Hello, Divas. And I want to start giving it away. Now, see how nice that looks? How nice and even they pop in together? That is because of the good drills. I'm telling you, it's because of the good drills. I have the same technique with every square painting I do. And some of them look like trash, and some of them look really good. Magnification helps. For sure. But when all else fails. The drills are the problem. Okay, so the next one up here to fill in is the Omicron. That's the circle with the little line through it. It's the Greek letter Omicron. Number seven. Yeah. Pea soup green. Taking out the drills that don't meet my standards. Okay. Come on now. Ay, ay, ay. You know, some colors seem to be more problematic than others. This one seems to have s drills that like to attach themselves to each other. Just this color, though. I don't have any trouble with the other colors with it. So. Oh, behave. Alright. Anyway, let's fill in the pea soup green Omicrons. They little, they just jump right in between and fill in that gap perfectly. And if you don't put them in absolutely perfectly, the next ones next to it are gonna straighten them out. That's how it do. So I think I will do my mom's suggestion and go to the library in town when everything's free to do so and offer to fill up one of the display cases one month with diamond painting goodies and offer to do a class there. Now what do you think? I think maybe I should um, buy some keychain kits, charge people for the keychain kit so that we're kind of all on the same sort of page together and it's a sample size thing that they can do there at the at the workshop and go I like you know workshops where you come away with something where you do something together and then you come away with a project I like that 
So I can do that. I think that would be a good way to. This is just, it's a creative outlet, outlet that I'm hoping this is my tent making type of opportunity. In other words, when Paul went to a different city to preach, he said, yes, the preacher is worth their wages, but at the same time, in a different town that wasn't as rich as others, he said, I, um, oh, there's the feather. Um, I'm taking up tent making so that you don't have to support me while I'm there. So, as a bivocational type of pastor at this point, semi-retired bivocational pastor with disability, I am... I hope that this can become a little, not just a distraction, but a blessing to others and kind of become my tent making type of activity. I want to get to the point where I can start donating a little bit of the profits toward my church, who have supported me in my ministry for many years now. My home church it got me started on this journey. Yeah, that journey is a whole nother story I could tell at a different time. If you're interested. If not, you don't have to listen. Testimony, as it were. A lot of us um, lifers <laughs> feel that we don't have a testimony. That we've always been Christian and we don't have a testimony, so to speak, to that would seem interesting to people. Well, every day you have a testimony. Every day you are finding ways to be close to God and just to recognize where God is near. And those are the way, those are your testimony, no matter how simple it might be. Um, sometimes those little everyday miracles are the most important ones. Sit straight. Okay. I need to get more tea. I'm bumping things around like crazy. I'm making mistakes and I've got to finish this up. So I can get to the next number so I don't get too far behind. It's tomorrow. I will not be able to work on it. Okay, so have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.